Hello, so first Hi. it's a pleasure to meet you because uh, for us it's a great uh, event. We are French YouTubers mm. on Transformers, the first uh, in a French speaking language. So Just you, just specifically Transformers? Yes, oh, exactly. Wow, cool. So we have uh, 30k uh, subscribers, so it's an honor to, <laughs> to meet oh, you today. Oh, very cool. So uh, the first question I would like to ask you is that you know, you worked at Pixar for many years and now you are working on a Transformers animated project. Um, what makes you love the cinema, the animation cinema? Uh, well, I've always wanted to work in animation from since I was as far back as I could remember. I was, was always drawing and wanted to be um, a 2D animator um, early on. And um, just having worked in it now, it's so much fun just to um, think up crazy stuff and then and then it gets created <laughs> it becomes real on, on screen so it's just um it's just a, a great way to tell stories with just being as creative as possible yes yes okay um you've mentioned several times that you are a fan of the transformers franchise how did you discover transformers in the first place uh, so i used to watch that every saturday morning when i was growing up in the 80s so the original cartoon and, um, you know, I just watch all those cartoons and Transformers being one of them. And uh, then I had a bunch of the toys as well. So I just kind of, uh, it's just part of my childhood. <laughs> Obviously, we have to ask, uh, what was your favorite character? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, for me, it's always Optimus Prime. Yeah. There's so many great characters, but you can't have Transformers without him, so. Okay, um, do you have a less popular one? <laughs> a less popular one? Yeah. Um, I do like Shockwave, oh. just the, um, his design is so different. Just having one eye right in the yeah, middle, it's really it's scary. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, so since we're talking today about cinema, what's your favorite Transformers movie of them all, of uh, every movie today? Well, I do like, there's bits and pieces of them that I like across the board, but um, Bumblebee I thought was really cool. Yeah. I really thought that was really emotional. And the intro to that movie is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think we can uh, we can all uh, agree on uh, on that point. Yeah. Um, when you found out uh, at the time that you were directing a Transformers movie and an animated Transformers movie, uh, so that you would be part of this big franchise, uh, what was your reaction at the time? Well, so I got the script, and at first, it, you know, said untitled Transformers movie, and I thought, well, this is probably similar to the live action ones, but. Um, Seeing that it was on Cybertron, there's no humans, and it was just about the yeah. characters, <laughs> I got really excited. I was like, oh, this is totally different. So I was totally on board. Yeah, clearly, because uh, you, you've mentioned the Cybertron scene on the, in the mm -hmm. beginning of Bumblebee. And um, really, there was this uh, kind of talking in the fan, like, uh, what if we can have a full movie on Cybertron? Right. And now it's, uh, it's the case. So I think that's a, a dream come true, maybe, for a lot yeah. of persons. No, it's, um, I know, f for me personally as a fan, it's just, that's what I want to see. Yeah, clearly. I can confirm. Uh, I've seen the movie and uh, it's clearly a dream come true. Uh, everything I've, uh, we wanted to see in, uh, <laughs> in this kind of project, clearly. It's cool. Yeah, it's clearly cool. <laughs> um, Transformers 1 tells the story of Optimus Prime and Megatron who go from best friend to mortal enemies. We've heard rumors that in the test screening, people were citing, people agreed with Megatron. Is that true? <laughs> Well, it, uh, yes and no, because it wasn't in the test screening. It was in, we, you know, we do screenings for ourselves early on. And so as we're building the different versions of the movie and, and trying to make it better, one of the versions was um, we, were, we were working really hard on making it, making it clear that Megatron um, was kind of right, the, just mm -hmm. so it doesn't feel like he's just a bad guy for no reason. And we did it too well at one point because <laughs> it was like, well, that, he's kind of right to do that, and, and we're like, okay, that doesn't feel right. We can't have the villain <laughs> being that correct, and so we made we made him go too far, um, uh, so that he's right, but then he acts incorrectly. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I still agree with Megatron, but I am French, okay? Like <laughs> 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 that. Yeah, and she also has a uh, uh, phrases of uh, one of the poems of Megatron from yeah, IDW. So. IDW. So. Oh wow. So she's really a big Megatron fan. <laughs> yeah. You fade. That's great. So Transformers 1, it's the eighth Transformers movie since uh, 2007, mm -hmm. and the ninth if we count the 1986 one, which is also a big piece of Transformers yeah. history. Uh, do you think, or uh, can you say that Transformers 1 is part of its own independent continuity? Because it's a big question among the fans. 
Yeah, um, I think it definitely is. Okay. The um, when we were crafting this movie, it was never it was never any intention to connect to the live action films in terms of the style or the look or okay. or or even the story, just because it's the same characters, it's the same lore, but it's just another continuity, a different version of it. Okay, great, because that's really one big question that I've had a lot of times in my comments, like, uh, does it fit in the Bavers? Does it fit in right. other continuities? So we can clearly say it's a new story. No, it's a new story. It's, it's the same way that, um, you know, the same way that all these continuities are kind of crafted, they're all from the same pot, you know, of, yeah, yeah, of yeah. elements. And so the way I think about it, because I imagine one of your questions is a sequel or moving forward with the story, the, the movie is set up for more action, yeah. obviously, and there's a whole war that happens before they go to Earth. And so uh, I, if, if I could, I would do my... I'd want to do a, our new version of that, like what what that okay. actually what that war is and how they get to Earth. So it's a little a little different, but the same same overall idea of, that matches the lore. Okay, so that brings us uh, really nicely to the next question, which is. Um, we have some elements in the movie that can lead us to a sequel, uh, mm -hmm. some uh, uh, lore, some story elements, and also because it's just the beginning of the story between Optimus Prime and Megatron. Yeah. Um, do you have uh, clear plans for a sequel or just ideas at the moment? It's just ideas at the okay. moment. But um, yeah, the, the thing that I'm excited about is we've established uh, Optimus and Megatron's relationship, and I think we can continue a storyline that's still with that at the center of it. Yeah, clearly, because I, I think maybe we can uh, go further, you know, in the, mm -hmm. uh, maybe at some point Optimus would like to bring Megatron in the in the good side. Anything's or... possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see, I see. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll be both attending to a podcast about the new Transformers comics, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'd like to know, do you read any of them? The new ones? The new ones the or sky, the old ones? The um, Skybound comics? Skybound. Yeah. I, so I... I read um, the first collection, I, so instead of getting individual, I love I love comic books, but instead of getting the individual episode, uh, issues, I like to get the big compilations. Oh yeah, because you're, you're like me. Yeah, <laughs> I, when I get the individual ones, I'm like, Whoa! I can't yeah, you wait, you know. <laughs> and so I just like to go almost like binge watching. Yeah, comics. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I have the first one. I love that. That was fantastic. And then. Um, I've ordered the second one's on its way, so um, <laughs> I'm waiting to read that. But yeah, the, the new one, I, I love it. I love how the, the whole Energon universe connecting yeah. with G.I. Joe. Really it's really it's good. It's really good. Robert Kirkman's yeah, pretty um, good. <laughs> did you ever read the old one, like the ADW, the Marvel comics? You know what? I didn't, and oh. um, I'm looking forward to that too, because okay. I, I know I have a, a whole list of the ones that I should be reading. Okay. And I know of some of the storylines that kind of were mirroring what we were doing in the movie as well. Yeah. Um, and that's the great thing about having Hasbro as a partner is like I could say, you know, I need the history of Ratchet or whatever, you know <laughs> what I mean? And they'll give me, here's every design we've ever had, here's every version of the story. So it was really cool having that, like, mm -hmm. at the you know, tips of my fingers. Yeah, clearly. So maybe we can add a little question just about the toys, because mm -hmm. after all, Transformers is based on the toys at the beginning. Uh, what was your first Transformers toy at the time? Um, the very first one I had, I can't remember the character's name. It was like a, a, a blue fire truck. And I can... Oh, it was maybe Hotspot from the um, Protectobots? I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and it, I think it had the... Um, the logo where you had to put your finger yeah. on it. Yes. Yeah. Hotspot? Yeah, okay. I, I think that's Hotspot. The, the description matches that uh, pretty well. That's, that makes sense. Okay, so Hotspot. <laughs> but it was, I remember like, it was metal, it was heavy, like you could really, you know, hit my younger brother with it. <laughs> 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 but then I, uh, then I had, um, see, I, it's hard to remember now because I had one of those next door neighbors that had every toy. Mm. So, and I would always be over there. So in my head, I had a lot of other toys that I probably didn't actually own physically, yeah, yeah. but I would play with it constantly. So, um, yeah, I remember playing with a transforming with the original Megatron and a uh, and Optimus. So I feel like I had all of them. Okay. When I saw Transformers one, I saw um, that um, it was somehow inspired by Metropolis. 
And uh, I, I don't know if it was intentional, but... <laughs> there, it was definitely inspired by it in, in terms of the um, uh, design specifically of the city and yeah. everything and just the whole... Yeah, I mean, we had images. Um, when we're designing the, the city itself, I liked um, Art Deco for the design style because it just felt like... Um, whenever I see it, it looks like a machine like, yeah, like yeah. created it. And it's all you know the bent metal and everything, and so that design style is also about just how the flamboyance of, of you know, of grandioseness of everything. So it just felt right. And then having the icon be like New York City, but then another New York City, yeah, hanging yeah. from above, I just feel like that just feels really cool and different. Yeah, yeah. So, and then Metro we had a lot of a lot of images from Metropolis, and um, um, I think that's it for the city. Really, we we love. I think we can both agree. We love the new style on Cybertron because yeah, it's, uh, it's organic. Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We, we loved that. Cool. <laughs> yeah. The the thought behind that, and this was something that was never meant to be explained fully in the movie, but mm -hmm. you, you just kind of feel it, hopefully. Which is, as they go to get to the surface, it's all nice and clean and mm -hmm. you know clean metal and it's really beautiful. But then as they continue on their journey, it gets harder and there's more nature and more stuff they yeah. have to traverse and th at the same time that that's happening that's when the relationship is getting more difficult as well so it kind mm -hmm. of echoes what's going on story-wise but the thought was like if you had a completely metal planet and then uh do you remember those big kind of like splashes a little those like um divots where the decepticon camp is yeah yeah so the thought was like well what if it on asteroids and this is a real theory that if on an asteroid if like mike you know Micro, micro, micronisms uh, from other planets were on, riding these asteroids and, and landed there, that it would explode and then it would instantly cool. Yeah. So it's like frozen like that, but then all of the, the life form kind of grows from that around the around Oh, the that's a very nice, uh, nice idea. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, clearly. It's a wonderful idea because uh, I think that uh, previously we've had some uh, Cybertron's uh, interpretations with uh, a little bit of uh, organic mm -hmm. uh, parts, but it was never clearly explained or it was a uh, plot of the series like in Beast Machines. But uh, this explanation is really interesting because we also have uh, like a bigger universe, you mm -hmm. know, uh, some uh, asteroid uh, on Cybertron. And in this movie, we also have the Quintessons, which yeah. are part of the larger uh, yeah. mythology. So it's really nice to, to have this uh, information because it was, that was one of the main questions that I had. So it's wonderful. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Yeah, I, I was really excited to do the Quintessons and to, to make them more organic than yeah, robotic, yeah. because why not? You know, it, yeah, it makes it so wonderful. clear difference between the two. Yeah, I really love that. Uh, actually, uh, I really see the, the Quintesson as techno-organic or organic. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it was a really nice touch. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, clearly. So I think that's all. Uh, yeah. We are almost time. Uh, thank you very thank much you. for yeah, this. <laughs> and uh, it was a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, my pleasure. I'm oh. so glad that you guys enjoyed it, and you're such oh, yeah. huge fans. It's yeah. really great. Yeah, clearly, uh, best Transformers movie to date. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think y we had a fan screening, and I um, I uh, invited a lot of my subscribers to it, and we all agreed that it was the best Transformers movie oh, to wow. date. So wow, thank you. I think you've done your job uh, <laughs> wonderfully. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel good. Uh, yeah. Seriously, is, I want fans to love it as much as, you know, somebody who has no idea, so. Yeah, clearly, it works for both. Yeah, it works that, was, for both. that was the goal. What's the name of your uh, channel? Uh, oh, it's I just have uh, the cards, if you want. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. We have, uh, you have a lot of links and... Uh, <laughs> Perfect, that's great. I'll <laughs> check out, I'll check it out. Thank you very much Thank for you. this. It was a nice to meet you.